Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Shanice. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. I know I've been MIA, I've been ghost, I've been gone, but I'm back and I'm planning to make some content for you guys. So if you guys are not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and also turn on that little bell so you don't miss a video. Anyways, as you can see by the title of this video, I am going to be showing you guys my wash day routine for healthy and long hair. So I'm pretty much going to give you guys the in on what I do to maintain my hair health because I feel like to have better hair days, you have to have healthy hair so I really want to show you guys what I do to achieve that and I want to say thank you to Pantene for sponsoring this video so without further ado let's hop right into this video okay guys so this is how my hair is looking as you can see it looks pretty dry and dehydrated it also stinked to be honest it didn't smell too good I had a lot of flakes and dandruff and it was extremely matted especially in the back section so I had to wash my hair. It was about that time. So first thing I'm doing is sectioning off my hair and wetting it with some water. For me, I personally have to section my hair off in the shower to get it fully wet because my hair is low porosity and it takes forever to really absorb water. So I have to kind of section my hair to get this thing working. Next, I'm gonna go in with Pantene's Daily Moisture Renewal Shampoo. So I like to use a generous amount of shampoo just because my hair was pretty dirty. Um, so I'm just gonna put a good amount of this into my hands, lather it up in my hands and put it on my scalp and I'm gonna really work it in. And y'all, this thing smells so good. Like it smells so good. So it's gonna have your hair smelling super nice. So this shampoo is silicone free, it also aims to fight damage and helps lock in moisture from root to tip. And I have extremely dry hair, so these are the types of shampoos that I like to use in my hair. I like something that's going to cleanse it, but also hydrate it. And then also something that I'm kind of able to detangle with as well. So as you can see while I'm letting the shampoo rinse out, I'm kind of detangling as well. Just trying to get out as much shedded hair as possible. Alrighty, so this is how my scalp looks after and it is super, super clean. And y'all know that if you want healthy hair, having a clean scalp is one of the first, you know, steps to take. So I equate having healthy hair with a clean scalp because that's definitely what it starts with. Okay, so moving on to conditioning, which is my favorite part. I just love conditioning. This is Pantene's Daily Moisture Renewal Conditioner. And this is a really nice, thick consistency, which I really like. And obviously, I am using a lot of conditioner. So I'm using about that much on each section. And then I do add more throughout the wash process, which you guys will see a little later. But this also smells really good. So I'm just going to put this throughout the length of my hair until I feel like I have enough on my hair. I feel like you have to really you know know your hair and see what your hair likes and that's what you kind of go on so as you can see I'm adding more and I'm just really working that throughout my hair this conditioner is very hydrating it also has a lot of slip and it has the pro V nutrients which help fight damage and locks in hydration so this left my hair very shiny and soft and manageable so with this I'm just going to detangle my hair until it is fully fully detangled um, and I think that is very important too before doing any type of styling. And kind of what I've been doing lately with my conditioners is using it as a two-in-one, as a conditioner, as well as a deep conditioner. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. What I do like to do is add in some oils, especially because my scalp is pretty dry. So I'm just going to add some oil to my scalp, massage that in as well as add it to the length of my hair just to really lock in that conditioner. And then I'm just gonna start deep conditioning and I actually am going to be trimming my ends today because I am gonna be doing a wash and go and I have not done a wash and go in months. And I noticed that to get the best results and to have really healthy looking hair is to make sure that my ends are nice and trimmed and not straggly. So I'm just gonna really twist up my hair and then I'm going to trim just a little bit off, probably less than an inch, if anything, to each twist. And that's gonna make such a big difference. It's gonna make my hair look a lot fuller and healthier, which means I'm gonna have better luck at getting this wash and go straight because 
wash and goes are very hit and miss with me so we'll see what happens <laughs> Once that's complete, I'm gonna put my hair into a bun. I'm gonna put a shower cap on. You can put a plastic bag, whatever you wanna use. And then I'm gonna lock in some more heat with this towel right here. And I'm gonna leave this on for about 30 minutes and then I'm going to wash it out. And as I wash it out, I'm detangling as well. Okay, so if you've been following me for a long time, you would know that I always leave in a little bit of conditioner in my hair just for manageability and just because my hair dries up super, super fast without any product. So I like to leave a little bit of this on my hair just for some softness and just for extra hydration. So just putting that throughout the length of my hair and then I'm going to move on to styling. And as you can see, my hair does look really shiny and moisturized after using the shampoo and conditioner. Alrighty, so it's time to style my hair and I'm doing a wash and go. This process is pretty tedious. Um, if you guys want me to do a whole separate wash and go video, I can definitely do that. But um, it's a very messy job. It's a very tedious job. And honestly, one of these products were new in my routine. So I didn't really know what I was going to get, but I was extremely happy with how my hair turned out. So yeah, I'm going to let this air dry. I'm going to go in with a diffuser just a little bit. And then I'm going to show you guys the final results. Okay, so this is how my hair came out. It is about 80% dry, but as you can see, the curls are popping. My hair looks great. It is also extremely soft, and I feel like giving myself even that small trim made a huge difference in my results. So it's always those small things that you have to pay attention to when you know doing your wash routine because that can be a game changer in having a good hair day. So if you guys are interested in trying out any of the Pantene Pro-V Moisture Renewal products, I will leave a link down below on where you can find them, and I will see you all in the next video don't forget to smash that thumbs up button and i'll see you later deuces